Remember, 30% of women have abortions because of financial pressure. So five families can be helped with your $2,500 donation. Please raise those big paddles at this time at $2,500. Thank you, 183. Thank you, sir. 183 at 2,500. Do I have another one at 2,500? Anyone else? 2,500. Yes, thank you. 247 at 2,500. Everybody clap. have a safe place to sleep. Cradle of Hope will distribute 10 portable cribs, 10 sleep sacks, and 10 fitted cre little crib sheets. They're going to distribute 200 portable cribs each and every month for $1,000. Let's get it. Let's just do it here. Do I have 10 people? Do I have? Please put them up and then I'll do it. Anyone? Here we go. Put them up at $1,000 and I'm going to do it. Are you ready to record? I see at least seven, eight. Yes, I want 10. Here we go. This is $1,000. Pay a number 227. Thank you. 100. Thank you. 201. Bless you. 124. Bless you. 123. Thank you. 229. Thank you so much. 214. Thank you. 137. One, six, four, one, five, eight. A couple more levels. Anyone else? Let me share with you five hundred dollars. Five babies have a safe place to sleep. Cradle of Hope will distribute five portable cribs, five sleep sacks, twenty family visits. Cradle of Hope each month to receive portable cribs, 20 families for $500. Let's do it. Let's do it, folks. Here we go. Yes! Here we go. Woo! I love this. One, two, six, one, five, nine, two, eight, five, one, six, nine, two, three, eight. Thank you. One, one, five, one, two, 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 zero, seven, one, six, one, one, eight, eight. Bless all of you. Seriously, this is amazing. Two, five, seven, two, seven, five, one, three, nine, two, one, six, one, three, zero, four, zero, zero, one, zero, four. Amazing. Two, six, four, two, five, six. Thank you. One, four, four, two, three, one, 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 zero. Two six one two zero eight one nine seven one six zero two four nine one eight four one eight three. Please put your hands up. for one family. 34% of families that choose life for their babies are facing premature births and medical complications. Help us as we continue to support these families and let them know that they are not alone. $250, folks. Here we go. 250 Raise those big paddles high. All right. Here we go. 232 187 Thank you. Bless you. 153 207 276 225 178 209 123 283 207 again 221 254 anyone else at the 250 thank you 280 gotcha anybody else thank you so much 176 thank you ma'am anyone else at the 250 anyone else 250 all right, our last one, 100. One baby has a safe place to sleep. Cradle of Hope will distribute one portable crib, one sleep sack, 
one fitted crib seat. Let's do it. If you didn't did it five, five thousand, whatever, and you really, really were spoken to tonight, and you feel that you can give that hundred dollars, it is so appreciated. It is so appreciated. Here we go, hundred dollars. Wow. Here we go. I'm going down here.
oil, and Wisconsin produces drunk people. <laughs> drunk people marry their cousins, you know? You can, you can marry your cousin in Wisconsin. It's kind of ironic, the quarterback with the last name Cousins doesn't play for the Packers. You know? <laughs> Can't marry your cousin in Minnesota, though. But if you marry your brother, that can help get you elected to Congress. So. <laughs> wondering why it seems so cool. <laughs> you get a different response when you tell people you're an engineer, because if you tell people you're a doctor, they're like, ooh, where'd you go to med school? If you tell them you're a lawyer, they're like, ooh, where'd you go to law school, scumbag? But uh, <laughs> tell people you're an engineer, and they're like, oh, I'm going to talk to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I work on uh, medical devices. Like uh, case bank makers, heart valves. I do a lot of lab work. Like, you know that all medical devices originated in a lab? Yes. Just like COVID 19. Yes. So. <laughs> As you heard, I went to MIT, so real good with the ladies. <laughs> My social skills are somewhere between Rain Man's and the Unabombers. <laughs> Women here tonight? I don't think I've talked to this many women total in my entire life. There's more women at that table than I've talked to this year. Many women at that chair as I've talked to this month. So I haven't started a conversation with my wife since that whole will you marry me thing. At that time she said maybe. It's really awkward dating my wife though, because we're dating. We go out a few times, then she dump me, then she take me back, and then she dump me. It was just like that Adam Sandler comedy, 50 First Dates. Because at no point was it funny. And after the second time she dumped me, she's like, Hey, no, Mark. You don't give me butterflies. So I got a card, and I filled it with butterfly stickers, and I sent it to her. I was like, I'm giving you butterflies now. And she called me up the next day and explained what a figure of speech is. I'll never be in love with you. Except she did say, yeah, I love you part, you know? <laughs> I gave her a few months, so then I called her out the blue. I'm like, honey, can you give me one more chance? Just one more chance. Total silence. And she said, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't that just melt your heart? She said, I guess she had given up all hope of ever finding a She's settling for me. That's what most guys need to learn. You can't make a woman love you, but you can hang around until she stops believing in love. She took one for the team. Looking back, I think the low point was the day she told me she just wanted to be friends. That was a huge kick to the gut yesterday, you know? <laughs> yeah, she, she takes good care of me, though. She bought me this jacket. She said it's my color. She said it brings out the whites in my eyes. She is too good for me, though. People are always like, tell me how lucky I am. Ed, you are so lucky to have found Darlene. They tell her the same thing, you know? Darlene. Ed is so lucky to have found you. <laughs> She's a trophy wife, you know? Although I'm kind of a trophy husband myself. Except I'm one of the participation trophies that get a lot of You really win, but you get Ed for the rest of your life. We are kind of a cute couple, though. We've actually nicknamed each other after a Ben & Jerry's ice cream flavor. My Ben & Jerry's nickname for her is Cherry Garcia. Because she gets these bright cherry red cheeks when she's complimented by other men. And her Ben and Jerry's nickname for me is Vanilla. I'm not pleasant, but I'm satisfying. See, my friends call me Vanilla Ice, because my life peaked in 1991. And I would not block to play in second with the twins. 
My wife and I went on a date recently. We went to Target. <laughs> when you've been married 15 years, going to Walgreens is a date. <laughs> going to Target is a legit date. And going to Costco is like a romantic getaway. <laughs> The reason we went to Target is because my wife needed to return some things. But she needed me to return them for her because she has returned so much stuff at Target this year that she's exceeded their annual limit for returns. That's the thing, apparently. My wife lives to return stuff. My wife will buy things just so she can go back and return them, okay? So we walk into Target, we walk up to the uh, return counter, I see my wife's picture behind the counter. Ten minutes My wife hands the guy behind the counter a bag, and she says, "My husband has some things he would like to return." <laughs> did I mention my wife was returning some bras? <laughs> she didn't mention it to me. If I saw those bras going on the bag, my butt cheeks and my shirt. Tightly, Kurt Cousins on Monday night, you know? Oh, well, it was the first time I'd seen her bras in quite a while, so. I'm really excited. The guy behind the counter, he knows what's going on. He's still got to ask those standard questions, you know? Is there anything wrong with your bras, sir? Uh, no. Do they not fit? Uh, to my wife. Yeah, should yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got the bras returned to the guy at the North St. Paul Target, who for some reason has a New York accent. My wife got merchandise credit that she can use to buy stuff to return next year. And uh, on the way out, I was feeling kind of frisky. I was like, honey, let's go to Costco. And she said, I have a headache. So, 15-year headache continues. But now at least I understand why she kept breaking up with me. We were dating because every time she would break up with me, she was returning me. And she lives to return stuff. And every time she would return me, I was effectively being marked down. And I was marked down enough that I was finally, at the end, on clearance. And no woman can resist buying anything on clearance. The problem is, once you buy stuff on clearance, you can't return it. That participation trophy stays with you forever. That was an awkward situation, but probably the most awkward moment of my life was the time my mom met my mother-in-law for the first time. My mom is uber Minnesota, okay? She's, she's like part walleye, I think, you know? <laughs> Originally from Brainerd, went to high school in White Bear Lake. Go Bears, okay? She's like a composite of every female character in the movie Fargo turned up to 11, okay? And she doesn't get out of the Midwest much, you know? Her idea of international food is noodles and company. And to her, the hot sauce is ketchup that's been in the microwave. My mother-in-law is from Boston. Deep Boston. She's like part lobster, okay? Like lobster, as she says it. You know, she's she's got the accent. She doesn't pronounce her ass. She packs a car and have a guy, puts boys in the meters, wishes a daughter hadn't married such a loser. <laughs> my mom flew up to Boston to meet my mother-in-law for the first time. And my mother-in-law had us over for dinner. My mom walks in, walks up to my mother-in-law and says, Hi I'm Nancy, how you doing there? <laughs> And I had made a fatal mistake. Forgot to tell my mom my mother-in-law's first name. My mother-in-law's first name is Margaret. Mar-gar-et. Or Margie, as she likes to be called. So my mother-in-law takes my mom's hand and says, Hi Nancy, I'm Maggie. You can call me Maggie. <laughs> my mom said, Maggie? Maggie, 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 Maggie. This went on for a good 30 seconds. <laughs> Shh. Time that Joe Biden taking a cognitive skills test, you know? Thankfully, my 
wife stepped in and she's like, Anthony, this is my mother, Margaret, but you can call her Margie. My mom was like, oh, oh, okay. And that seemed to solve it, but then my mother on us law was like, Nancy, for dinner we're gonna have lobster, for the appetite we're gonna have clam chowder, for drinks we have salsa water, and I sober. My mom, the other as she turns to me and says, what did mom she say? <laughs> but it was a wonderful dinner. And after dinner, my mother-in-law was like, Nancy, you want some Boston cream pie for dessert? My mom was like, you're darn tootin'. <laughs> And I was like, oh, sorry, I had a clam chowder, he's been gassed. So, <laughs> needless to say, when those women are together, we have a translator present, you know? It's like, Minnesota and Massachusetts just do not go together, you know? It's sort of like Tim Walls in a salad bar. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Parents are interesting. I want to uh, acknowledge my dad, who is here tonight. Dad, can you stand up? My dad just retired after serving our country for 35 years. So. Thank you. He, um, he worked for the IRS. charities for the IRS. That is true. He was the first person to declare war on the Salvation Army. Although he was such a hard worker, when he retired, they decided they needed 98,000 new IRS agents to replace him. for you, man. But I'm actually, you know, I can tell he's getting hot under the collar, seeing all these tax exempt donations go in. So if you really want to get under his skin, write out a big check to Cradle of Hope, show it to him, and then hand it to Cynthia or uh, one of the board members. So, for the reason I, I mentioned my dad is because uh, ever since he retired, he's changed. What I mean is, he wears wind pants. <laughs> Nothing but wind pants. You know what wind pants are? Those nylon athletic pants that make that swishing sound. You know? <laughs>
But it'll be a memory that'll last you forever. That's the problem. I have enough disturbing memories in this head. I don't need something to rival with Gary Anderson in 1998. Yes. Yes. So we got a cat on yesterday. 
They bring the cat home. My wife names the cat Little Eddie. <laughs> she named him after me because he's white and neuter. They got little Eddie. Did I mention we already had three cats? We had a mommy cat, the two little female kittens, and they wanted a daddy cat so the cats could mirror the humans in the house. And it's incredible. The personalities of the cats perfectly match the personalities of the humans in the house. The mommy cat just rules the house with an iron fist, you know? The two little kittens do whatever they want when mommy's not paying attention, no consequences. And little Eddie <laughs> is just there. <laughs> like me. He's just there and his balls are elsewhere. I'm gonna close tonight. I, I, I really look forward to going home to see my kids. I like to be close to them, but they like to actually interact with me a little differently. It kind of mirrors how they were, how close I was to them when they were born. Abby, who had the few of us choice, she likes to cuddle with me. And cuddling is like, you think, you know, you, you sit next to each other, you put your arms around each other. That's kind of... Holly, who I did do a few of us choice, with, she prefers to snuggle. And it's a little bit different. The way snuggling works is I go up to bed. I lie on my side of the bed, the king size bed, about as big as this stage here. Holly will come in and lie down on the very far edge of the bed. That's snuggling. <laughs> hey, come, you want to you wanna come closer? No thanks. Can I scratch your back? No thanks. Can I leave? No. I like just not eat. The way it usually ends is my wife will come into the room, Holly will go off to her bed, and then my wife will get in the bed and snuggy with me. She loves to snuggy with me. We snuggy every night, all night. And I'm going to go home right now and snuggy with her. Thanks, everybody. Ronan Tynan, 
the famous Irish tenor Hussein, for free at the 9-11 fireman's funerals. She worked out the contract details. With Lou Eggenberger and Ann Dickens' help, Lori organized all the refreshments required by the performance contracts in the green room and treats for the concert stores. She brought her son to all the concerts and helped serve the guests and performers. Lori is proud to be pro-life. She was fortunate enough to have had a good job and the ability to support her son, Gordon. This is why she gives of her time to Cradle Hope in gratitude for having a job and to help moms in need. Her generosity to Cradle Hope has been an inspiration for so many supporters. Lori, could you come up here, please?
And if there are any other board members in the audience, please uh, make yourself known as well. Um, if anyone is interested in being a board member or a committee member, please reach out to any of those uh, individuals as well as myself. Fourth, I'd like to thank the Cradle of Hope employees and regular volunteers, including Cynthia God uh, Godi, God Becca Balzer, Anne Marie Ellingson, Nancy Kopeski, Shirley Gerlach, and Andy Kopeski. Would you all please stand? Up? A lot of work, they're very shy. I guess they don't want to <laughs> Finally, I would like to recognize Darlene Kopeski, our executive director, for her hard work at Cradle Hope, and especially for this gala tonight. Without her, this gala would not have been possible. So please give a big round of applause for Right, come on. All right, Jenny, 
you're off that pace. All right. So Ryan has a quarter. He's going to flip it. If you think on the first round he's going to flip heads, you put your hand on your head, okay? If you think he's going to flip tails, you put your hand on your tail and nobody else's tail. All right? All right. This is the heads and tails game. Round one is Ryan going to flip heads, put it heads, tails, tails. Are we ready? No cheating. Here we go. Ready?
Tails.
ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. We truly could not help women and families in need without you. And I am so blown away by the generosity that I saw from you all this evening. Don't forget that you can still participate in our wine poll and our wiki ball. There may still be some bottles left, so make sure you check that out on your way out. And don't forget to purchase that piece for $25. Make sure that as you leave, you visit the checkout tables. Because if you want anything this evening with a sign,